Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we're going to show you um, different SE light pink polishes, the ones that you can see right here. So they kind of look very similar, some of them very similar, for example, uh, but they're not very similar. Anyway, so Minimalistic Fiji, Bodice Goddess in the time zone, stitch by stitch, Pillow Talk the Talk, it's one of the new ones, Polished and Poised, Poised? Posed? Posed, Posed. Yeah. Poised, actually I think Poised. there's a nine there, so yeah. Uh, Muchi Muchi. 150. No, okay, this is uh, Hot to Trot and Model Citizen. Okay, so we're gonna swatch them, we're gonna talk about them. All right, so some of them, like the original SE, it needs a base coat, so we've, we did a base coat, mm -hmm. and the other ones don't need a base coat. So we're not gonna do a base coat. All right, so the first one is, is called Minimalistic. It's a uh, pink pink, cream pink, and it looks a little bit on the warmer side, but pretty neutral. All right, we'll see how this goes on. And these nails, they're a little reggy. So this is not a perfect key scenario which is good, so you can see how these polishes go on and real nails, not like perfection nails. Fiji. You oh, wait. perfect nails? Yeah, perfection nails. Perfection. Fiji. <laughs> okay, uh, also warm, very, very similar looking. This looks like it's a little bit more pigmented. Oh yeah. brush is a little wonky on this one it's a little weird so I think this one used to be much more white what do you mean by it's, much more white? Um, in the older um, like it was batches more of a pale color yeah because oh. I remember client brought it once and it was different it was not with the other brush it was very difficult to apply interesting bodice goddess and now this one, it's like a very mauvey pink and it's sheer. So to be honest with you, I never use it because it looks weird. It really does. Like one coat is, I guess, okay, but it's just dusty. Maybe it would be good for a French if people kind of do French stuff. We'll see how it looks in three coats, but it's not streaky. It's a good formula. Mm. In the time zone by SC Expressi. And SC Expressi does not need a base coat. It has this weird brush. Like self-administering brush. Meaning if you were doing your own nails, it would... Uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, huh? <laughs> Okay, so this one doesn't need a base coat, and looks like it goes on very well. Mm -hmm. And the last one is Stitch by Stitch. The last one, the fifth one. Yes. On this hand. Correct. Okay, it's kind of a... Uh... Don't move, please. Darker, kind of shade. Well, Two coats. It's kind of more dusty. <laughs> so I'm going to clean it up a little bit because it just bugs me. And pure acetone. All right. Okay. Just going to show you again how this one looks. It's also kind of mauvey, but also warmer. I don't know how to describe this one. 
kind of dusty. Kind of dusty and movie and. Okay, pillow talk to talk. This is almost like a, um, they describe it as pink, but it's more like a lavender pink. And this looks. It's quite uh, shimmery, quite frosty. It has amazing formula. Very, very good. That whole collection, that was the spring collection. Incredible. Uh, polished and poised, yeah. So this is more like a, like a blushy pink. Mm. Let's see how it applies. I don't think I've used this one yet. Can you try not to move things, mister? I'm not moving, you're moving. Oh yeah, but you shouldn't be moving. But I'm not. Okay, so the first coat always is a little streaky. Moochie moochie. Let's see. It's like a bubblegum pink, almost. Mm. It's quite cool. This nail has a lot of uh, ridges and the brush is wonky. Oh my God, of course disaster. You see on this side, it's like, mm -hmm. so yeah, we're gonna try to fix it with the second coat. Of course, it's going to happen on like the most uh, difficult nail. This one is hot to trot. It's also a bubblegum pink. Very similar actually color, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Moochie moochie. Moochie moochie. Okay, please don't move. I'm not moving. You're like literally rubbing your nose. I, I saw it. it. And this one is um, Model Citizen. And that's a much darker pink. Let's see how this goes on and how it looks. I really like the colors that don't need the base coat. They seem to go on better. But if your nails are um, a little damaged or dry or peeling or they stained easily, then use the base coat underneath because sometimes they might stain. Looks very kind of uh, springy, no? These colors. Looks very streaky. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's do the second coat and see how. Round two. Minimalistic. Looks good. On a normal nail would not be streaky, but of course this one has to be difficult. Fiji. Yeah, Fiji is not the easiest, I have to say. The brush, well, the brush is fine. Let's inspect the brush. Yeah, it's a little wonky on this side. So with these ones, you don't want to grab too much of the polish. Okay, I managed. Okay, it works. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Bodice, goddess. And you know what? Some people buy the sheer shades and then they apply like four coats of them. And they're like, no, they suck because they don't cover. Well, then don't get a sheer polish if you 
wants an opaque nails, right? Mm -hmm. Sheer polishes are supposed to be sheer. Yeah, if you want something that has better coverage, then buy something that has better yeah. coverage. And it takes forever to dry as well. So uh -huh. I, I don't know about this color. Like, like I don't get it. It just... Eh. I know. Doesn't do much for me. Um, in the time zone. So this is what I call chalky. Like the really white kind of colors. Mm. And the SC Expressi is supposed to be used without base coat and without top coat. It's supposed to dry in a minute. Kind of so-so, it doesn't really dry in a minute, but quickly. Um, but I found that it is good to use this one with a clear. It's called transparent or something. It's not a top coat, but it's like a transparent color. It, it uh, wears much better. It has a better shine. Okay, let me just clean this one up because I can't stand it. You're not very excited about these colors? No. Clearly. Oh, the hot pink you should like, no? You like it? So far, I haven't seen a hot pink yet. It's not hot enough for it's you? It's not hot enough for me. Oh, okay. No, it's got to be much hotter than that for me oh. to really take notice. Like when we do our fundraiser, it's got to be the hottest oh, that's hot right. neon pink that you've so ever maybe, seen. So maybe uh, talk about the fundraiser quickly, stitch by stitch. Am I talking about mm -hmm. it or are you talking Yeah, you. Because I can't talk and polish at the same time sometimes. But you told me not to move when you're polishing. Yeah, yeah. So I can't really talk. No, you can talk. Yeah, but that requires moving and then you give me oh trouble about moving. This is painful. <laughs> so anyways, we have a fundraiser that... Um, that we're doing. That, yeah, that we're doing. We're trying to raise $1,000 for a dog organization out in Spain. They uh, rescue and rehabilitate um, Spanish Greyhounds. Galgos. And yeah, when we hit $1,000, I'm going to wear the hottest hot neon pink you've ever seen. Yeah. For a week and take pictures and it's going to be fantastic. And we're almost there because we're more than halfway done. Mm -hmm. Right? So, oops. So go check that out. The, uh, there'll be a link in the doobly-doo down below. Yes. So thank you so much for considering the help. And if you uh, are unable to donate, then, you know, watching the ads helps as well. Mm -hmm. That's ink. another great way of helping support mm -hmm. the channel. Mm -hmm. Polished and poised. And actually, um, one of the viewers, quite a few of the viewers suggested that we should put affiliate links in our description so i'm working on it to help us with the channel so that was a great idea thank you so much mm -hmm. um so you guys can buy using these links well this is actually better than i expected and that helps us as well because we gain then a small commission and the price is still the same for you so that's exciting that's a good idea mm -hmm. so we're working Amen. on it yeah so we're working on it so that that would help as well Mochi mochi. Okay, which side of the brush is messed up? Mochi 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 mochi. Okay, both of them are kind of messed up. I'm gonna return this one, exchange it. Oh my god, like you see how the brush makes such a huge difference? Mm hmm. Big difference. Yeah. Yeah, usually if I'm buying in a store, I check the brushes. They say not this to open true. the polishes, but... You do anyways. I do. And just to check out the, the, uh, the brushes, the brush. just make sure mm -hmm. they're good. That's it. As you guys can tell, I've been on uh, one or two of these excursions in the mm -hmm. past. Okay, out of these two pinks, I think this one has a better application. Oh. application -y. Mm. Indeed. Oh, the brush disappointed me on this one. Tisk tisk. Mm -hmm. This one looks kind of nude, yeah. almost. Well, let's get to that. Almost hot. Pink. Not so hot pink. Model citizen. And we're not gonna do a top coat because you know. 
we're running What's that the way. Point? <laughs> Normally, obviously, I would do it, but. And another thing, um, if anybody's watching, still, because <laughs> it's the last nail, people are like, bye bye. Yeah. But anyway, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I have a lot of Watch Me Work videos on Patreon. So yeah. if you're interested to up. see how, um, you know, how I work in a salon mm -hmm. with clients, it's all on Patreon. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button if you haven't already. Go check out the Patreon as we were just talking about. There's going to be links in the doobly doo down below. And that's the spiel for today. Yeah, so we're going to clean up these nails and then remove the product. And this is acetone, by the way. And um, sable brush to clean it up. But actually, I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to do this later. Um, we're just going to show you all the colors. Wow. And Look at so these. So you know what? When it comes to formula, I have to say that this one is very good. Mm. Um, SC Express C I'm impressed with, but there's a few colors that are not so good. Well, the, um, this, this one wasn't good. too bad. Yeah. It's not the easiest. It's not the easiest, I have to say. Um, the best this one, one wasn't also, too bad. Okay. Yeah, this one. And this one. You know, these are good. Mm. Like the SC... Um, Jocko Shure is very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. The twisty bottle. Yeah, the application is better. Mm -hmm. And this one has a very good application as well. All right, what's your favorite? Three, two, one. This one. And... I think this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I actually have one that I like out of the bunch. Which one? This one. Yeah, I knew it. It is pretty hot, no? It's Not hot enough, but yeah. mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Being a little I was kind of yeah, I was kind of uh, hoping for a little bit better coverage, mm -hmm. but not too bad though. Not too bad. Not too bad. Considering, but, so uh, you might kind of. The thing is, with these ones, they need they don't need a base coat. So even mm -hmm. if you do a thin coat as a base coat, mm -hmm. um, you can then do three coats, and you're still not really doing too many coats. Mm -hmm. And actually, I like the for obviously the formula of this one, so that's yeah. it. Well, Already. guys, let us know in the comment section below which one you like. Mm -hmm. And which. Other colors you would uh, you would like us to uh, to show you? Swatchy swatch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye. Ciao. Hi, everybody.